Frederick Layton, first Baron Layton, or also known as Sir Frederick Layton, was a British painter, draftsman, and sculptor. His works depicted historical, biblical, and classical subject matter in an academic style. His paintings were enormously popular and expensive during his lifetime, but fell out of critical favor for many decades in the early 20th century. Leighton was born on December 3, 1830, in Scarborough, England, to Augustus Susan and Dr. Frederick Septimus Leighton. He was educated at the University College School in London. He then received his artistic training on the European continent, first from Edward von Steinle and then from Giovanni Costa. At age 17, in the summer of 1847, he met the philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer in Frankfurt and drew his portrait in graphite and gouache on paper. When he was 24 and studying in Florence at the Accademia di Belle Arti, he painted the procession of the Cimaboa Madonna through the Borgo Allegri. From 1855 to 1859, he lived in Paris, where he met Ingres, Delacroix, Corot, and Millet. In 1860, he moved to London, where he associated with the Pre-Raphaelites. In 1864, he became an associate of the Royal Academy, and in 1878, he became its president from 1878 to 1896. His 1877 sculpture, Athlete Wrestling with a Python, was considered at its time to inaugurate a renaissance in contemporary British sculpture and was referred to as the New Sculpture. American art critic Earl Shin claimed at the time that, except Leighton, there is scarce anyone capable of putting up a correct frescoed figure in the archway of the Kensington Museum. His paintings represented Britain at the great 1900 Paris exhibition. Leighton was knighted at Windsor in 1878 and was a baronet of Holland Park Road in the parish of St. Mary Abbots, Kensington in the county of Middlesex eight years later. He was the first painter to be given a peerage in the 1896 New Year Honors. The patent creating him Baron Leighton was issued on January 24, 1896. Unfortunately, Leighton died the following day from heart failure. Throughout his life, Leighton remained a bachelor. Rumors of him having an illegitimate child with one of his models, in addition to the supposition that Leighton may have been a homosexual, continue to be debated. He certainly enjoyed an intense and romantically tinged relationship with the poet Henry William Greville, whom he met in Florence in 1856. The older man showered Leighton in letters, but his romantic affection was not reciprocated. No definite primary evidence has yet come to light that effectively dispels the secrecy that Leighton built up around himself. However, it is clear that he did court a circle of younger men around his artistic studio. On his death, his barony was extinguished after existing for only a day. This is a record in the peerage. His house in Holland Park, London, has been turned into a museum, the Leighton House Museum. It contains many of his drawings and paintings, as well as some of his former art collection, including works by old masters and his contemporaries, such as a painting dedicated to Leighton by Sir John Everett Millay. 
The house also features many of Leighton's inspirations, including his collection of Iznik tiles. Its centerpiece is the magnificent Arab Hall. The hall is featured in issue 10 of Cornucopia. A blue plaque commemorates Leighton at the Leighton House Museum. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for liking, and thank you for subscribing. It means the world to us. This is not the end of the video. We have more to share. Keep watching and enjoy yourself. See you in the following video.